Hey, Hustas, how y'all doing today? I know I'm up close. So we are about to cook some shrimp creole with some uh, good old smoke uh, sausages, andouille sausages. So y'all ready? I got everything cut up and let's get ready to cook this really good shrimp creole. Y'all ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Come on over here. Come on. Come on. We already have a pot of rice cooked. Already, y'all. We have this skillet here. In this skillet, I'm going to use some olive oil to brown my onions, cook my celery, my garlic, my bell pepper, and then I'm going to add in the sausage. Let me show y'all what I have over here. I have one whole yellow onion. I have three stalks of celery and the greens leaves. I have one half of a large bell pepper and I have five chopped garlic cloves over here. That's what we were using. I have one ring, half a ring of andouille sausage. And then I have some shrimp and lemon that I'm going to be adding when I add the shrimp in. I have a can of stewed to, uh, tomatoes, y'all. And I also have one can of tomato sauce. Now with my seasonings, I'm going to be very simple with my seasonings. I'm going to use, of course, some Old Bay, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. That's all I'm going to be using in this dish. So let's get started. We will heat this uh, stove top to medium high to get this olive oil warm. We will put about uh, two tablespoons of olive oil in here, y'all. We will let that olive oil get hot, y'all. I'm so ready. Now, with this, I will be serving some uh, fresh corn on the cob. And I will be serving some delicious garlic bread. Let me show you what it look like. Well, it's more of Texas toast. That's what we're going to be having with this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let these onions get a light brown. Uh, but before they get light brown, I want to go ahead and add in my celery and get that softened up, including my bell pepper uh, as well. But we will start the onions first, and then we will add those two. And then we will then add the garlic, because you don't want to overcook your garlic, because it does get bitter if it's overcooked. So we will add that garlic last. And we'll just go along so y'all follow me as we get to do this good dish. So I better get some uh, something to stir with, huh? Y'all, I love my big old cabinet. <laughs> I have a huge cabinet, y'all. So I think we'll be using this. Or do I want, I want this one because it's thicker. I'm so excited about this dish, y'all. This was something my mother was supposed to be cooking for me for my birthday, but she did not get a chance, and that's okay. So, y'all, let's go ahead and add in our onion. Oh, them bell pepper kind of mixed up in there. Y'all see that? But we don't want too much of that bell pepper in there right now. Not right now. You know, I love these uh, kind of cutting boards because, you know, you can bend them. And and I've been having these for a while. Let's go ahead and get this over here, y'all, because uh, All right, here we go. Y'all see that? Now, we'll get them onions going. 
And then we will come back, as I said, and add in those bell peppers. And um, as these onions get soft, we'll come back. See you in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I, I want y'all to see these onions thus far. If you can see that, they are turning. So at this time, I am going to add in my bell pepper and my celery. And we will get those tender as well. Add it all in there, y'all. I love fresh. Fresh, fresh when you do this. This Cajun meal. All right, y'all. Give that a gentle stir. And my heat is on medium. Hot. Y'all, it smells so good in here. I sure wish y'all could smell that. Y'all already know, those of you who cook with the Trinity. Oh, that's going to be so good, y'all. Oh, and uh, if I must add, y'all already know when I, be, when I do saute my onions, I do put a little black pepper on them. So we'll let them sit here for about three minutes and give them, that boy, that smells so good, and give them a stir. And then we'll come back and add in the garlic. And um, we'll add in those sausages as well. Then we're going to let them cook in like a cup of water um, until they get really soft. And then that's we'll come back in and we'll add the rest of the goodness, y'all. I'm so glad y'all are with me, y'all. I wish y'all can scratch and sniff this goodness in this pot right here. Smells so good. We're going to let those cook though. And uh, as I let these cook down a little bit, we will be back, 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 back. We'll be, be back, 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 back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Let me give you a close-up of how these onions look, y'all. All that good seasoning has cooked down. We're going to now get ready to add in the garlic. But we're going to let this garlic cook for about three minutes, y'all. After we incorporate this garlic, we're going to come back in. I've made a mistake, y'all. We will not add these sausages so early. We will not. I'm going to add in the tomatoes, the seasoning, and uh, one cup of water. And uh, we're going to let this cook down for about 30 minutes to let all these flavors marry. Don't forget to taste your, your food, y'all. Because I'll tell y'all one thing. Y'all know our way to say you know, it got to taste good, y'all. And I'm going to put some hot sauce in here, too, y'all. I'm going to put some Louisiana hot sauce. So let that cook for just a few minutes, y'all. Let's get some hot sauce out. Louisiana, that is. Hey. We're gonna, when, we get, when we get that tomato stuff in here, we're going to... Uh, oh, damn. That, you know, when you do garlic, garlic, fresh garlic, mm, mm, mm. Let me get out a tasting spoon. We'll put a tasting spoon right there because we will be tasting. Oh, that smells good. Y'all, I, I love to cook. I do those. That just looks so good. Let's give it about another minute, y'all. All right, y'all. Boy, that looks good. Let's add in our tomatoes. One can of, you can add whole tomatoes as well. I like the stewed tomatoes, y'all. Let's get that in here. Oh, yeah. 
I'm gonna get my cup of water over here. I like my water to be warm when it's going into a hot pot. Let's get uh, this tomato sauce as well in here. Oh yeah. Y'all, let me just tell y'all this. This corn used to be $3.49 at Kroger Fresh. Now it's $5.49. And yeah, look how little that is. Look at that. Come on. Why are they, they doing something bad to us? I'm getting my cup of water, y'all. Y'all know I like to measure really good. All right, y'all, so we're going to pour this cup of water in here. Now, I want to put in some hot sauce. Uh, maybe three, four dabs, y'all. Can't go wrong. Yeah, five, six. <laughs> well, depending on your level of heat, that is. All right, y'all, we're going to add in about a half a tablespoon of Old Bay because sometimes Old Bay can be salty, so be careful. So we'll add in about... Yeah, half a tablespoon because it is seafood, y'all. But we will taste and add more if we uh, need to. I always say add a little before you add a lot because you can't take it back out, y'all. We will add a tablespoon, one full tablespoon of uh, black pepper. And y'all know how I am about onion powder and garlic powder. You can never go wrong. I'm adding a tablespoon of each. And then we're going to come in with maybe a half a teaspoon of salt, y'all. know I ain't, ain't that big salt girl because that uh, Old Bay has salt in it. Oh, let me bring y'all a close-up so y'all can see what this needs to look like. We will cook this uh, uncovered for 30 minutes so that all these flavors can come together, y'all. Okay. We will give this a taste uh, before we put it on a low simmer. But look, don't that look rich in color, y'all? Mm, it smells good, too. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a taste. With our tasting spoon. Let's see if we need to add in some pepper. Or some something. I'm going to add in some more garlic, y'all. Maybe a half a tablespoon. And I feel like I want to add just a little bit more salt. Maybe another half a teaspoon. That's it. It's coming up to a boil, y'all. We're going to have to get this down low and let it simmer low and slow to it gets some richness. And we'll come back with the shrimp uh, and sausage and lemon. So let's give that a, a taste, y'all. I did rinse off my spoon. Y'all, I'm missing something. I need some pepper. We're going to add in a half a, another half a tablespoon. Y'all, that's why I say season, season, season. You know what? Normally, we don't do this, but I'm going to do this because I'm missing something. You know, I got to come up with my all-purpose seasoning. I think that's what I'm missing, y'all, because y'all like my stuff to be seasoned. Let's get that a stir. Oh, now nice. it's really smelling good. All right, one more, one more taste, y'all. Let's see what it's tasting like. Mm. 
that was it. Mm -hmm. That was it, y'all. So, let's put this on. Y'all see it's up to a boil. Let's get this on medium low. And again, we're going to let this cook uh, uncovered for at least 30 minutes. I say between 30 and 40. But I'm going to come back in 30 because at 30, I'm going to add in the sausage. Let it cook for 10 minutes because those shrimp got to go in with the lemon as well. And they have to cook on low for at least five to seven minutes to make sure they are cooked perfectly, not overcooking rubbery. So we'll be back when is that time, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. 30 minutes have passed, and honey, if I tell you, oh yeah, that's nice and thick. Let's, let me give y'all a close-up. Low and slow, y'all. 30 minutes, look at that. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna we're gonna add in the sausages. I'll be back. Let me show y'all what type of sausages is. I love them because they really are out of Louisiana. It's called Zumo's Anduli. It They really are good. I, when I tell you they have great flavor, they really do. Now, these are the ones y'all know I like to do with my seafood ball as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these and we're going to put them in this sauce. And we're going to let them cook for 10 minutes. Okay, y'all? And y'all see I got them all cut uniformly the same size. But y'all can cut them as thick as y'all want. It's, it's about y'all preference, so please do as you choose with your sausages. Let me wash my hands, y'all. Y'all, let's get these a stir. Get them incorporated in that good thick. Y'all got to see this in this good thick sauce. Look at that. Get them all covered, y'all. Boy, when that shrimp and lemon come in here, y'all know it's going to be something. Mm hmm See you in 10 minutes. Hey y'all, the sausage has been going for 10 minutes. We are now gonna add the shrimp in with this lemon. So uh, let's get these shrimp in here, child. And then I'll tell you what we're gonna do next. Y'all, them some nice size shrimp. These are the only ones I buy, though. Oh, honey. Let's put these down. Y'all got to come up close. Y'all see how thick that sauce is? Oh, just imagine when you put it over that bed of rice. My God, that's going to be good. Oh, yeah, y'all, that's going to be good. Let's get these uh, lemons on here as well. Look at that. Let's let them cook right on down in that sauce, y'all. So what we're going to do now, we're going to let this cook nice and slow, covered. We are now going to cover this pot. You know, we only did it uncovered to get the thickness. So now, um, 
We're going to bring that up to a boil. We're going to cut it on a really low fire. And we're going to get that this cook for at least 10 to 15 minutes on low. Covered. Okay? All right. All right, y'all. So we have brought that up to a boil. We're going to now set this heat at low. And get this covered. And let it simmer on low. Watch your shrimp though, people. We're going to let that simmer on low uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, I'll see y'all when it's finished.